this is Riley. Today we are going to be making a bridge inspired by the garden at Claude Monet's house in Giverny, France. So we're going to get started. You can use whatever you'd like to add color to your picture. I have a white piece of paper here that I'm holding like a tall building that's called portrait style. And I'm just going to be using some crayons to make my drawing. So to begin, I'm gonna take out my green crayon or crayons if you have two different shades of green that's good too so i've got two greens here i'm going to make two curved rainbow type lines for the bridge so i'm going to start up here one curved line and then another Then I'm going to thicken those lines up. I'm going to actually switch my greens. I'm going to make it a bit thicker. Next, I'm going to connect these two curved lines with vertical lines, straight up and down. Add some dark green around the edge of the bridge. And now I'm going to add the trees that are behind the bridge. So I'm gonna do two types of leaves for this. One side, I'm gonna do some hanging leaves, like from a willow tree. So those are gonna just be squiggly lines. And on this side, I'm gonna do some circular leaves. Claude Monet made his artwork, he made things look kind of blurry, so we don't have to worry about making things look too detailed in this piece of artwork. Okay, now I'm going to start below the bridge with some lily pads, and I want to make it look like some lily pads are close and some are far away. So to do that, I'm going to change their size. So the lily pads near the bottom of the paper are going to be bigger. You can put them in groups of two or three. And as they get further away, they're going to get a little bit smaller. All right, then I'll add color to those.
going to add the lily pads. For the lily, or not the lily pads, I'm sorry, the water lilies, the flowers. For those, I'm gonna use pinks and reds and oranges and purples. You can use whatever colors you'd like. Water lilies come in a lot of different colors. So for the ones that are closer, near the bottom of the paper, those we can make more detailed, and the ones that are further away, we can show less detail. To make a water lily, I'm gonna make two curved lines connected by a zigzag. Some students in my other classes chose to add some frogs to the top of their lily pads. I thought that was a fun, creative idea that you can do if you'd like to. have my purple out, I'm going to add um, some shading under the bridge to make it look a bit more 3D. So I'm going to make what looks like a number seven going under the top rung of the bridge and on the side. That makes it look like a shadow. going to add some shading of different blues and greens for some trees and sky and in the bottom I'm going to do some blues and purples for the water. I'm going to do some green here. like there's blue sky peeking out behind the greenery. Notice when I'm shading, I'm going in just one direction very lightly with my crayon. Barely pushing my crayon to my paper.
think of any other details you'd like to add to this, like some grass, or like I said before, frogs, butterflies, some kind of animal, person on the bridge. You can be as creative as you'd like with this. But that's the basic piece of artwork we made today. Again, it's a bridge inspired by Claude Monet's famous garden at Giverny in France. Um, please send in a picture of your artwork through the Classwork tab in Google Classroom so I can see what you've made. Good job today. Bye.